Yeah, it's not in everyone's job description, I guess. The go is, is that we're providing the university with venom uh, from our snakes and they're able to utilise for all sorts of different research projects and, and teaching tools. Um, at JCU we need snake venom for a few purposes. Blood clotting, blood clotting function, blood clotting times, the effect of snake venom on human heart cells, human skeletal muscle cells. Uh, we do everything, we do everything from taipans to brown snakes, black snakes, death adders. Basically a matter of holding the snake in one hand and trying to encourage it to bite um, onto the, the vial with the other hand. Oh, it, it has its risks. <laughs> A good amount of, of training and um, obviously goes into it. Yeah. Um, it's not something you can expect someone to do on their first day on the job. It is not as dangerous for me because I basically just pass on the vials to Alex, but it is dangerous for Alex, definitely. We've got a whole lot of different range of tools that we use to handle the snakes and to restrain them. Well, they reckon inland type hens, venom is about 60 times more toxic than the Indian cobra. And there's been some studies that have suggested that in an average bite, they've got the potential to be able to kill over 250,000 mice from one bite. People think they're just out there to bite you, which isn't the case, but there's quite a lot we can learn from them too.